Prices of used cars. Are they negotiable? What should you be paying? That and more on today's show. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Today's information-packed video is brought to you by the Homework Guy team, home of super high-intensity training for car buyers and a very savvy group of auto experts to boot. We're going to cover some background on used car pricing to help you understand it and then the price you should expect to pay. The key to it all? Knowing how to figure out actual cash value, ACV. Because without that info, you know nothing about the right price for any used car. If that's what you're here for today, we won't disappoint you. If you appreciate the Homer Guy team working hard for you and bringing you up to speed with our great videos and you want to support our efforts here, well, there are plenty of ways for you to get on board and show us a little appreciation. Start by recommending us to your friends and help us get to that million subscriber mark. That's where we're headed, my friend. Some people have an idea that car dealers are cranking out 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 on every used car they're moving off the lot. Well, if you're thinking it's 15 or 20,000, well, you're way off. You're not even close, but you should notice that I didn't say 10,000 was way off. And why? Because I've seen it happen. And today, we're going to show you a vehicle example that is very ordinary, and yet this dealer is expecting to make just under $8,000 on their truck. That aside, the real numbers you can expect to see, and we know because we've literally done this exercise thousands of times, is that a typical used car is marked up somewhere in the range of $4,500 to eight grand on average, depending on the value of the car. Again, that's used cars. If a vehicle doesn't move right away, that's when you see the sale prices coming out and prices start to drop. If the vehicle sits there long enough, the front end profits could slide down below 4,000, eventually 3,000, and could hit 1,500 to two grand. Whatever the shelf life turns out to be, I'm talking about the amount of time the car is sitting on the lot. Well, you should never believe the story that the dealer is losing money on your car deal. They tell that story to literally Everyone who goes to the dealership, even the customer they screw over sideways, backwards, coming and going, we're losing money, they said. If you're ever on the verge of believing that story, well, if you should happen to be at the dealership, just take a moment and look around. That amazing showroom, the customer lounge with the six big screen TVs in it, the Armani suits the finance guys are wearing, that Porsche parked out back behind the finance officer's window. Well, those things did not come from losing money on car deals. So the question is, regardless of what a dealer has a vehicle listed at, what should you pay for any used car on the market? Let's start with this. To have a clue what the right price to pay is, no matter who you're buying it from, and I'm talking about it could be your neighbor or your local dealer, you have to understand that every car on the road has a wholesale value. It's known in the business as ACV or actual cash value. If you don't know the ACV of the vehicle you're looking at, you have no idea what you should pay for it. You're guessing, no matter who you are. We've shown you in the past how to use Kelly Blue Book and other resources to determine the wholesale value. The video is on this channel. It instructs you how to look up the trade value, find good condition, and look at the price at the low end of that range. Well, that number plus 100 bucks, that's going to be in the ballpark of the wholesale value of the car. Eh, within a few hundred bucks. Today, I want to show you not only how good that video was, but an added brilliant shortcut to getting a cash offer on any vehicle sitting on the market. I've done it many times. Take down the VIN number, the year of the vehicle, its make, model, color, and the basic trim level information. You also need the miles. Let me show you how you can get a cash offer from multiple dealers on the car you're looking at right now on a dealer lot anywhere. Let's say I'm looking at this 2017 Toyota Tacoma sitting on a lot near Tacoma, Washington. It's a real truck sitting on South Tacoma Honda's lot right now. To be clear, this isn't a made-up example. This is as real as it gets. TrueCar claims the truck is a fair price at $33,080. But is it? Well, let's look at the details. The truck has 63,000 miles on it. It's the TRD Sport double cab, 5-foot bed. V6 four-wheel drive automatic transmission. Gray metallic color, black and orange interior. Write down the VIN number. You need all this information. We're going to put this out there for a cash offer from another dealer as if we own it. Now, watch what happens. I'm going to Kelly Blue Book and click the button for my car's value. Next, you'll see instant cash offer. 
click the button for Get Offer and Trade-In Value. Put in the basic details you collected from the vehicle, enter everything in. We'll just choose the standard equipment instead of trying to mention every little thing the truck has. And why? Because dealers do this all the time. They rarely put all your vehicle details in. All those bells and whistles you thought mattered, not. Now, run through all the questions about damage, condition, etc. I'm giving this truck a clean bill of health. After putting in all the details, Kelly shows me what the trade values are. And just a few minutes later, I get a cash offer for the vehicle I'm looking at. A dealer is willing to pay $25,215 for the truck I'm looking at on another dealer's lot. Now, for those of you who didn't think this works, I challenge you to try it. Watch what happens. The email address you put into the contact box will literally blow up with one message after another as dealers try to get you into their showroom to trade in that truck. You'll get them for several days. They want it for $25,215. A truck this dealer in Tacoma has listed for $33,080, a price that TrueCar says is fair. See how far off TrueCar is with their fair estimate? This dealer has this truck $7,865 fatter than the money they paid for it. Not a fair deal in my opinion at all. Not even close. And they know it. Before we move on from this, I want to go back to something quickly because we've had a few people say on our previous Kelly Blue Book video, no way are dealers paying prices as low as trade-in, low range, good condition. Want to bet? Look at what this truck had for a low-end trade value in good condition. $24,889. Add the 100 bucks, just like I said, and you're at $24,989. What was my cash offer from other dealers on this vehicle? $25,215. Wow, I missed my $226 bucks on a vehicle with a $25,215 actual cash value. That is less than a 1% error. Well, 0 0.0089 to be exact. That's what you call hitting the bullseye. Now, I said before that dealers start out greedy, just like this dealer, and then they trickle down the price over time. Does this look like a dealer that is very hungry to move that truck with a $7,865 profit expectation on it? No. They think they have a piece of gold sitting there. But two things can impact that fact. Time, as in how many weeks or months it sits there, and if you time it right and come in late in the month when they sorely want another deal. A Monday or Tuesday, when they aren't swamped at the end of the month. Let's say you want this truck, and if that's the case, you have a cash offer for that exact truck of $25,215. And you're going to print that baby out and put that piece of information in your pocket. It will come in very handy before this is done. Now, let's take a look at this Toyota Tacoma some more. What should I buy this truck for, dealer or private party seller? Well, from a dealer, I'd offer $27,000. From a private party seller, $26,500. Math is pretty simple. I took the cash offer of $25,215 and added a profit of $1,250 to it. For the dealer, I added an additional $500 to cover detailing, oil change, and other lot expenses commonly referred to as lot pack by dealers. I added 5% profit and just rounded the numbers up. Using the same calculations, if you determine a car that you're looking at has a cash value of $50,000 based on the cash offer that I showed you earlier, add $2,500 plus $500 to the dealer for a total offer of $53,000. Pretty simple math. If I'm looking at a very low-end car, which really isn't my thing anymore, maybe when I was 20 or something and just wanted a beater to get to work, I'd make it simple and add $1,000 to the cash value, no matter what the car was. If the cash value was four grand, for example, I'd offer five grand. Simple as that. $1,000, not a penny more. On the 2017 Toyota Tacoma, this dealer is asking $33,080 for that truck, a vehicle that has a $25,215 cash value based on our cash offer. That, as of moments ago, we've already heard from three dealers who want it for that money. There's no mystery here. The dealer is sitting way too fat on that truck. $7,865 profit expectation, a 31% profit margin. Easily six grand more than I'd ever pay for it. If you really want it, I suggest you wait 30, 60 days and see if the truck sits. If it does, go negotiate with them then. Some fool may pay the original price, but 
You shouldn't be that stupid fool. If there's enough savvy car buyers out there, that truck is going to get old on the lot and all you have to do is keep your eye on it. Then, time your move for the last Monday or Tuesday of the month and go put the screws to them with that cash offer printout that you have in your pocket. When they tell you they're losing money on it at 30 k and can't go a penny lower, that's when you say, hey, you don't need to blow any smoke my way on this truck. It has a cash value of 25215 I offered 27000 I'm the only one being reasonable here, and you know it. Well, then that's when you slap that cash offer printout right down on the table for them. Well, this is when you're going to see an idiot with a pretty shocked face on the other side of the table. Get up and walk out if things stall. Don't be surprised when they chase you out the door or call you before you get home. Amazing things happen when you call a dealer's bluff and walk away from their we're losing money story. They need your business no matter how much they pretend otherwise. Now, I want to make sure you didn't miss something here. This analogy should have taught you a financial lesson about your trade. If you're trading a vehicle in on your next purchase, and I actually recommend you sell it yourself, but for those of you who want to trade it in, you like the convenience or whatever it is, use this exact same exercise to nail down your trade-in value without jumping through a bunch of hoops. Go to Kelly. Put in your VIN number and all the details on your car and request a cash offer. That offer will be validated soon with multiple offers. On the truck example I just gave you, I literally got emails from three dealers wanting to buy the truck I didn't actually own. You can check the cash value of any vehicle, whether sold by a dealer or a private party person, just by getting a cash offer, which is cash value on the vehicle you're looking at. It really is that simple. And cash value is where every car price negotiation has to start. I hope this helps you on your next used car purchase, no matter if it's a dealer or a private party seller. Your bank account will thank us. Uh, well, unless, of course, you're one of the dealers we're talking about. If you appreciate the video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and make sure to join us on any of your favorite social media platforms out there. We post videos and share updates on other social media sites too and answer car buying questions there to help you out. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in the description box down below or on our website. Here's the best part. We don't just help you guys with great videos. We use your tips to sponsor awesome people like Maggie. This amazing young lady works with university students to help them get more out of their studies and ultimately lead better and more productive lives. She's the best. We enthusiastically sponsor Maggie and she thanks you in advance. Just like the Homework Guy channel, Maggie knows that you change the world by what you do. If you can't do a tip today, no problem, just help us get the word out. The Homework Guy team loves it when you share our videos on your social media platforms and encourage others to subscribe to this channel. Help us get to a million subscribers. By doing so, you're helping to defeat the dishonest operators in the car business who are still trying to figure out that, you know, fairness and honesty, that rare thing, uh, it really is the best business model. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.